Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more RimWorld. We've got two fellas currently um, getting re-educated. <laughs> got Inji, who is at what? What level are you at on your re-education? You're at thirty percent, and Moran is at forty-four percent. So you know we're getting there a little bit at a time. We need to do the next Mechanitor. Um, Big boss, but I'm not really sure, not really quite ready for that. I think we would get killed in the way it stands currently. A group of yaks have joined. Um, I'm gonna guess we don't have a place or um, any food for you, so <laughs> I think these uh, yak fellas are going to get whacked. We're gonna whack the yaks. It's too bad because we could. We could breed them, but I'm not prepared. I was not prepared to deal with them for the winter, so... Sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Moran just became an adult. <laughs> While in jail. That's not great. I was hoping to actually do some training for him, but that's alright. That's our own fault. Um, well, we're gonna give you hard worker to make up for some of your, uh, the fact that you have <laughs> no passion of any kind. Sorry, Moran. Great memory, night owl, hard worker. It's not a the the traits are great. The the skills are not so much. I need to give you some clothes too. Alright, let me let's uh Let's give you some clothes. Hmm. Interesting. I tried to give Moran a, a duster, he doesn't want it. I assume it's because he's got the basic clothes, but he doesn't have a drive to put on anything else. Uh, we'll leave it in there. You can put it on if he wants to. We're gonna we're gonna work on cleaning up our uh, pollution mistake. I'm gonna build a pollution pump up here. See if that uh, if that helps or not. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we got a raid coming in. Seven people with bows. Are you people? People? I oh, know you're all imps. It looks like judging from your horns. Impids. Someone gonna hit that one. This guy? Nope, this guy? Yeah, there you go. They're all standing outside the range of my, uh, my melee, melee robots. And for the most part, my uh, non-melee robots. Although I suppose I can move those guys up. Provide the... Uh Melee guys as, as blockers. Shot absorbers. Ah, my robots are on fire. Well, there's a, t a good time for the aggro hand to get damaged and need to be resurrected. The middle of winter is a good time, considering it's not really being used for anything at the time. <laughs> so Inji was ahead for a while, but now he's falling behind. He's at 17, whereas Moran is at 15. So, you know, swapping places. A shaman merchant is coming to visit. Probably send somebody out to meet them because I think they'll get they're gonna get cold and want to leave pretty quickly. Sadly, they have nothing I want. Yep, there you are. <laughs> yeah, they'd get cold and leave. That's why we talk to them early. Why are there so many rats? So many rats on the map right now. All these rats. I'm wondering about this reclusive in small group that Lewis has. 
I wonder if it will... If four is going to be okay. I don't want to bring any more people in than that. But four? I'm hoping four is okay. And in, in not upsetting the reclusive aspect, but we'll see. Moran has been converted. He will be released and given a new name. Alright, Moran is now Blue Fina. Oh, tribute collector is stopping by. We could sell uh, NG, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> Alright, Blue is basically bad at everything. And like, equally bad at everything. And has no passion, so we're just gonna... gonna have them do a little bit of everything and we'll see what, what, what starts to grow there. This is what happens when you have a stunted childhood. I probably should have kept him out until he grew up and then started converting him. I think that probably be probably would have been the appropriate way to handle that. But, you know, unfortunately we all make mistakes in our child rearing and we just have to live with them. Oh, hey, they killed a cougar for me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Must have decided to make one of them dinner. Yeah, it's starting to make a difference. It's a little little gap in the pollution. So I guess now that we've got three three folks on this religion, we have to actually um, set up the debugger, which is our our uh, what is it called? Our priest priestly role. For that, I'm going to need a ritual spot. I think I'll let Rack be the the priestly person. Why not? I mean, nobody is any good at social, so doesn't really matter. <laughs> hey, you know what, Rack? Now that you're this, oh, we'll have to wait till he wakes back up. Um, I don't think we have anything special you have to do as the debugger. Oh, you're, you want a cape? That's the only thing. Let's get you a cape. One cape, please. A bunch of random Kim fuel just fell out of the sky. I'm starting to set up uh, what's going to become our kill box, by the way. In case you're wondering what's going on over here. Construction-wise. Convert NG first, because I think we're about to get him. Is that a good straighter? And NG is converted. Okay, good. Now we can start actually uh, like recruiting you. <laughs> Which hopefully won't go too long. Your resistance is very low, so hopefully it'll be all right. Gene pack quick plus one. Fast runner and an elongated fingers. Hulk body. Broken Inji's will, so now we're gonna recruit him. Her. Recruit her. There we go, Inji's on the team. Welcome to the team, Inji. I will give you a new name. You are Heather S. Welcome, welcome. Let's get you a gun. Are you any good? You're actually a pretty good shot. Yeah, we're gonna have a party too. Celebrate Heather's uh, arrival on the team. That was amazing to me how like resource efficient the nutrient paste dispenser is. Like this has been, we've been through the entire winter and we barely made a dent in our food. <laughs> I'm not even sure we need to really plant anything in the spring, at least for a while. Grow some non non food related items. Like, let's go ahead and put uh, put a cotton plant here. Ageless. This gene pack is selling a thing that says ageless. Huh. Curious as to what that gene is. Can I get uh, something on ageless? Ageless. Carriers of this gene have archites in the bloodstream, which continuously reverse the aging process, starting at an age age of. 13 carriers begin to biologically age slower by 18 aging stops completely I feel like I feel like I want that <laughs> I want that give me that can I get that do we have the money to get that I think the answer might be no I mean, I could sell the animal pulser. And I could probably buy it. No, I still can't buy it. 
shoot. Oh well. No agelessness for us. Even though this is kind of like the the land of uh, the uh, land of Neverland, where everybody is young except for I guess Heather, who's 57. But <laughs> we can fix that. We can research uh, th th this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? The thing that lets you uh, roll back people's ages. I don't know. It's somewhere in here. Bio regeneration. Is that it? Oh, we got a raid coming in. And they're dropping on us. That's always fun. Come here, everybody. What kind of grenades are those? Toxic grenades? Don't destroy the generator. Guys, gonna go that way. see about this. There you go. Lewis took a hit. Constructoid, please. I would like you very much to repair this guy. Alright, Elliot. Dumb labor, skilled labor. Oh, this guy's a this guy's a dream. <laughs> Take your clothes. Dumb labor artistic. This guy's not great either. Alright, uh, rack. And some power issues. Alright, looks like we are probably need to turn on the generator. Again. Having some, some power problems here. So, need to get a little extra power from the wood fire generator. Cargo pods. Hey, somebody dropped us some chocolate from the sky. That's nice of them. Still having some battery issues. I don't know why we're not uh, producing the, the amount of power we were producing earlier. It's like some, something is eating up a whole bunch of power and I don't know why all of a sudden. Turned off basically everything I can. Yeah, I don't really know what changed as to why we went from being fine to suddenly having a power issue, but we're gonna, we're gonna rebuild this... Uh, a wind turbine so that it's uh will help out a little bit I figured out the problem <laughs> there was a hole in the power grid right there so it wasn't actually a problem with us not having enough power it was a problem with the power not making it to the battery oops well, we've got got some extra battery power now. It's always good to have more battery, more power. I'll turn off the auto to fill on that thing. I was yeah, I was didn't understand why it was suddenly we were running low on like all of our power was going down. It's very strange. Mystery solved. So the plant has decided to start sewing, which seems kind of premature, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it do it. If the stuff dies, it dies. It's it's not like the Agrahand has any other job that it needs to be doing. It's not like when the uh, pawns waste time on a project that doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'm not really sure if we're ready for it. But I think I'm going to call the next mech thing in. <laughs> we'll see. This could go very badly. What time is it? 14 hour? We'll wait till the next morning. I don't know how long it takes it to show up, but I'd prefer to not fight it in the middle of the night if we can avoid it. How are all of our mechs power-wise? One of our Militors is relatively low. You. Can I force you? To recharge? Can't force him to recharge, huh? Alright, let's do this. Let's see how this goes. 
Next few hours or days. All right. So we don't get to know. We don't get to know how long it's going to take. I'll build a fourth, fourth turret. Fourth turret. Let's see how this works. That was actually faster than expected. All right, so he's here. He's got three Militors with him. Are they going to come and attack me, or do I have to go to them? Looks like maybe I have to go to them. I suppose you could just leave them over here. Let uh, let people who come to visit deal with it. All right, these 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 uh, muffler are moving like they're on a mission. Oh, they're coming! They're coming to my base. That's why they're. That's where they're going. Coming to eat the food that's available inside my base. Oh no! Here they go. Okay. So what I know about this thing is this thing. Um, if you get up close to it, it has like an explodey fire thingy. Um, but other than that, I don't really remember the, the deal with it. Apparently, has a long range uh, laser cannon. Worry about the Militors first, and then we'll then we'll deal with the big boy. All right. Look, if I send this guy in to attack him, he'll probably do the big bat. the constructoid kind of expected that um who is the worst shot out of the group of you actually you know what just um there you go and sweeps dead all right militor militor constructoid we're gonna have to have a we're gonna have a bunch of uh robots that we're gonna have to Bring back to life, I'm sure, by the end of this. It's almost dead. There it goes. That wasn't so bad. I was more I was worried about that, but it didn't turn out to be so bad. Uh, Lewis, let's get the clean sweep in there first. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. I think, Lewis, where's the signal chip? Oh, the, the research bench is being used, so we can't do anything with it right now. All right, Lewis. Hey, before you go to bed, city signal chip, please. All right, so now we have um, standard med. Which will let us go build the Tunnler, Scyther, Scorchers, Pikemen. The, the fancier stuff. So uh, goods traders coming to visit. I was ripping out this uh, this rock that was here in order to put in another room. And unfortunately there's two little bits of overhead mountain. <laughs> which means that we can't get rid of those. They have to stay, which is not the worst thing in the world. But it just ruin, ruins things just a little bit. A mad doe coming in. No, Addo's dead. All right, pollution is pollution is getting close to being out of control. Which I think the answer to the pollution being out of control is going to literally do a caravan to like the middle of nowhere and drop it off. <laughs> I think is what's the plan. If we can get to uh to to launcher tech before then, I'll probably uh I'll probably just shoot it away. We got ourselves an infestation, but it appears to be right here. It's outside of our area, so I'm not that worried about it, but I guess we probably should be because infestation left alone is an infestation that becomes a big, serious issue later. I kind of knew that would be in range. I did it anyways, hoping we wouldn't get punished for it. <laughs> I was naive, I know. All right, do we have anything that makes fire. I don't think we have well we have that flame bow, right? Somebody does. Lewis. 
Bufina. Where is that flame blow? Right there. Quick flame blow, please. Alright, we're gonna deal with this before it gets out of control. Um. Mm -hmm. Actually, shoot. Actually, can't reach. Can you? Let's. I'm gonna swing you out here. Past this fight. Let's see about shooting. I, I want, just want somebody to shoot the, <laughs> these things. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Hang on. Lewis, come back. Oh, and you're not. You were somewhere else. I wonder where they went. Um, you. I'm done with. I'm done with your flame bow. Please come back and get your LMG. Badly harder we got 20 hours, we got no immediate danger. These things are burning, so we don't have to worry about them in the future. Got more broken robots. <laughs> Get the robot out of there before it gets, gets burned up. The Agrahan can wait, but the other ones, yeah. So you gotta get them before they burn. <laughs> 